on that historic and memorable day at the Polo uh, grounds in Accra, Kwame Nkrumah, the founder of this nation, Ghana, declared that Ghana was free at last. On the rostrum with him were four seasoned politicians, Archie Casely Hayford, Kamala Agbele Bidima, um, Kojo Botsio, and Krabo Duse. It is my privilege and honor to have with us on Sincerely Yours tonight, the Honorable Kojo Botsio. Um, the Honorable Kojo Botsio, you were Minister of State um, at the First Republic. You were also a minister in the um, years before Ghana attained um, its Republican status from 1957. Um, what led you into politics? But before you do that, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I was born on the 21st of uh, February 1916. In fact, tomorrow will be my 81st birthday. Right. We were born in Winneba, and my father, Mr. J.K. Bocio of Elmina, was the registrar at the DC's court then. My mother, by name uh, Dinah Ejakun, was uh, from uh, Apam. Now, after a few years there in our infancy, my dad was transferred to Cape Coast. And it was there that we started our education. First the college school, then I moved on to to secondary school, old SPG grammar school, now at the saddle. From there, we went to Achimota for teacher's course. Then I came to Cape Coast to teach at the newly established Senegasens College. From there, I went to Freetown to Farah Bay College for my graduate course. From Freetown, I moved on to Oxford for postgraduate work. I was in Brasenose College. Then after, uh, after Oxford, I went to London, and it was there I was teaching when I met Common Kumar for the first time.